Welcome back. The Oregon Shakespeare Festival has the oldest existing full scale Elizabethan stage in the Western Hemisphere. Not to mention it's among the oldest and largest professional regional repertory theaters companies in the United States. And right now you can catch shows like Three Musketeers, Romeo and Juliet, even Rent. And today we have one of the stars of the Oregon Shakespeare Festival here to tell us all about it and more. Samaj Miller. Samaj, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So not only do you perform mm -hmm. uh, Three Musketeers at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, yeah. you're a writer, performer, you do it all. Listen, I'm out here. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> the rent is due. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit about playing in the Three Musketeers. Uh, I, I was a kid who was like always running around tying like bath towels around my neck to be yeah. a superhero. So it's like I'm actually getting paid to do it as an adult. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a cast of 12 and it's a bullet train. It, <laughs> it is, we are sliding down ladders. We have sword fights. We're jumping off of the stage. Right, because it's, it's not like old school. What oh, we, no. we it, it is a revived version. Oh, yes, yes. One thing I didn't know working on Three Musketeers was that Alexander Dumas was a black man. Mm. So this adaptation is by Kirsten Childs, who is a brilliant OB winning playwright out of New York. I mean, the team, the, the, the bench is stacked. Yeah. Um, so it's a very hip hop version. So it is, you know, we are spoken word. We're rapping. You know, there's references to like Meg the Stallion in our show. <laughs> it's all about reclaiming the fact <laughs> that this is a story by a black man. I love and it. And having fun. And you also do your own thing. Like you, you have a, a Sweet Bees is yeah. what it's called. Tell me about that. Yeah, so I, I have learned as an artist, you can't always wait for the phone to ring. That's right. Um, you know, you got to make your own opportunities. So uh, when I was working and during the pandemic, I started to create this show just about growing up in Chicago with a family straight from the South and the yes. crazy stories they used to tell and the traditions of food and the importance <laughs> of spades and the music they would play. And then I looked up and I had a script. Wow. And now we're presenting it at OSF uh, in about a week and a half. And it's a love letter to my family, specifically black women, the south side of Chicago and blues, which is, you know, when black folks came from the deep south to the north is something they brought with them. Wow. That's so amazing that you were able to take that story and now put it in the Oregon Shakespeare Festival like yeah. that. Some people might be like, what? Does that Some people are like, how did, how did, what yeah, you doing? Like, you singing what? <laughs> Down home blues right? at OSF? What? <laughs> you talking about frying catfish at OSF? But, <laughs> you know, um, with some of the shows this year, we're really looking at where people come from and how they got to where yeah. they are. So my show actually serendipitously, yeah. it fits. Yeah. So can you tell us where we can go to follow you and kind of like just keep up with everything that you're doing? Oh, yes. IG at Samaj M. Uh, Samaj underscore underscore M. Okay, and you're gonna give us a performance, right? Oh yeah, a taste. Ooh, a okay. A taste of Three Musketeers. I was about to say, can you tell us anything about what what it's gonna be? It's it is our show opener. So okay. I, I am stepping into the role of Alexander Dumas in a couple of weeks, and this is the first thing you see Ooh, when you come okay. to the Okay, I can't wait. Thank you so much, Samaj, for being here. Thank you for having me, guys. It is time for a break, but I promise we'll be right back with more Everyday Northwest.